coming into the church, but we're performing a service where we're rescuing our young men and giving them an opportunity to build a business that they would run and manage. That's going to start Monday at 9 o'clock. Now, initially, I'm going to be the manager. All right. Rashad's going to be the foreman. All right. I'm going to run down there and just, you know, get the little stuff going. They need equipment. I'll get that. They need the dumpsters. I'll get that. But they're going to they're gonna police themselves. You know why? Because I trust that they're going to do what they All say. All right. They'll do it. Rashad said, I'm going to be the timekeeper. I'm going to be the foreman. I, and I told him, you got to be a foreman with compassion. You can't be <laughs> <laughs> he said he understood. <laughs> They're ready to go. They've been asking me all day. They've been asking me all day about it. reported the meeting to members of the Assembly of Cardinals. One thing she said really stood out in my mind. She said that these young brothers aren't looking for handouts. They're looking for a way to be self-reliant. They want to stand up on their own two feet. And that's something that is honorable. That's something that we need to help them with. And if we can be that bridge from where they are right now to a self-reliant life, then God is going to bless us. And you never know what ministry, what initiative can blow up and grow and help our church grow. And even if, even if all the, the members that will come through this initiative, even if they don't join our church, if they just participate in that ministry, we can take heart in that. Because that means that we are providing a powerful, powerful, and much needed service to the young men in our, in our community. Amen. Anniversary Month. The theme for Anniversary Month 2009 is anchored in the will of God. What we want to do with this Anniversary Month is make sure that all of our members are grounded in the history of the Pan-African Orthodox Christian Church. That's been one of our weaknesses. One of our weaknesses has been telling our own story. During Anniversary Month, we want to do a great job of making sure that everybody that comes through our doors knows our history. Because you can't move forward if you don't know where you've been. So we want to learn our history. We want all of us to learn it because we have so much to celebrate. But not only that, we want to learn our history, but we also want to have a better, clearer understanding of where we are right now as a church and where we are headed. And I believe that when we have a clear perspective on our history, where we are and where we're going, we'll be all the more excited and energized and ready to do all the things that God has called us to do. So that's the goal of Anniversary Month. Amen? Amen. Amen? To learn our history, to learn where we are, and to know without a doubt where we are headed. That's what we're doing during Anniversary Month. It's centered around fellowshipping and breaking bread. Now this is how the early church actually had church. They sat around in somebody's house, they ate and broke bread together, and they testified about the goodness of the Lord. Wow. So this is not strange or new. But we are going to do it and we're going to have a good time doing it. It's going to open up our anniversary month that first Sunday. But there's also another thing that's going to happen during anniversary month that I'm really excited about. We are going to have a rededication of our ministers. Amen. That's something that's important to me personally, but it's something that should be important to our whole church. That's right. Ministers... We are taking responsibility for the calling that has been placed on us. We are going to take responsibility and step up and be the ministers that this region and that our God demands that we be. And so that rededication will be a symbol of that stepping up. But it will not just be symbolic. The rededication will begin the process of seeing ministers in our region minister to the needs of our congregation. Amen. Amen. The fact that we are a service-driven church, that we are service Christians. So those members of our church from all over the nation that are performing outstanding, exceptional service, not only within the church, but within the communities in which they reside. 
We will honor them every single year. It's like a, in football terms, like the Hall of Fame. Right. It's the service Hall of Fame. And so the National Board of Pastors and the National Executive Board will take applications and then pick the award of the recipients every year. Right. Kind of like the Academy Awards or the Hall of Fame. Right. And after that, after the first year, every every past recipient will become a part of the group that does the judging, uh, that determines who would be win uh, winning in each uh, each year for the award named for, it's named after Cardinal Amanifu, Dr. Woodrow Smith Jr. is his uh, formal name. Legendary in the city of Atlanta for the many, many, many years of service that he provided. But truth be told, it wasn't just in Atlanta. It was a, he, he served in every region, and he yes. had a service ministry in every region. That's right. He had a community yeah. service center in Detroit, right. community yeah. service center in Atlanta, and here he was uh, instrumental in building our, find our foundational congregation. And he worked with me. And so in his honor, we will honor those members today who are, who are best exhibiting his spirit of service. Uh, finally, uh, just a few words on something that has been mentioned before. We are divine beings, amen? amen. We require spiritual growth and development. And we know that spiritual growth and development doesn't happen just because we want it to. Is a daily power ritual. Last time Jeremiah Jakimathi preached, he talked about the fact that restoration of our church depends on restoration of each individual member. Right. And that one very important thing to that restoration is a daily, a daily ritual that you do to center yourself in God. And so we are offering to you a daily power ritual that you can use. But we're also going to offer to our members a class that we are calling Spiritual Food for Seekers. That is a Bible-based faith development program. It is a full-fledged curriculum to lead you in your own spiritual growth. But we're also going to offer what we are tentatively calling Bible 365. That's just a fancy way of saying if you want to read the whole Bible within the course of a year, we've got a curriculum for you. Bishop Dijanab just recently said, I want to do that. I will lead that. So that's going to be on the schedule. We're going to have many other things on the schedule. But it all kicks off in anniversary month. So anniversary month is big for us.